Hello and welcome back to the Renegade Gamer's channel. I'm the Renegade Gamer. We are playing Valkyria Chronicles 4. In our last episode, we just got done doing a fight on, uh, actually I don't know where the fuck we were, uh, engagement at Milt. Uh, so let's continue this and get on through with it. I'll explain why I find this, uh, an interesting premise Sir, in a second. First Lieutenant Claude Wallace reporting in. Good work out there. Glad you're still in one piece. Yes, I am. We're just about to go over our next operation. All right. You're late. I'm sure you know standard procedure is to report immediately after a mission. Ah, uh, you know, I was going off to get some drinks. Oh, Minerva. You're reporting too? That's lieutenant to you, Claude. Don't get smart with me just because we share rank. I've got seniority. Aha. Uh -huh. So you're the sundry of this game. Got it. <clears throat> Sorry, Lieutenant Minerva Victor. <laughs> well, let's get started. Minerva, give us a situation report. Yes, Minerva, give us a situation yes, report. Yes, sir. Three months have passed since we went to war. I won't sugarcoat it. They're steamrolling us. By this point, a third of our territory is under Imperial control. This is officially a crisis. If it's that bad already, we won't even be able to sustain a war effort. You're right. And the Empire's only gaining momentum. If this draws out much longer... The Federation's finished. Uh, not the Feds, man. Not the Feds! If we fall, that's it for Europa. Nobody else could stand against them. Eh, uh, maybe. The Empire would take total control. It'd be a fascist continent ruled with an iron fist. We can't let that happen. Europa's future depends on us. Which brings us to now. The top brass finally got off their seats and sent us a plan. All right, so what's the plan? A counterattack that can turn the war around in one fell swoop, ready to be put into action. Okay. We put all our force into one strike. Break through their defenses and hit them where they'll hurt most. That's a terrible plan. Soldiers, supplies. We'll use all reserves we have to make a final push and capture one crucial enemy base. And we lucky few of the 32nd Armored Ranger Battalion have been handpicked as the vanguard. Awesome. Couldn't ask for a better mission, sir. Which enemy base are we targeting? Think bigger. We take this base, and we take their will to fight. But how could any one target mean that much to... Wait, you don't mean... You always were a clever boy, Claude. I think you've got it. Yeah, I would do. Alright, so cutscene time! Our target is the Imperial capital of Schwarzgrad. Let's fight back! Operation Northern Cross. The year was 1935 EC. Two great powers vied to control the continent of Europa. In the east, the sun rose over the autocratic East European Imperial Alliance, a dictatorship known as the Empire. In the west, a network of loosely allied democracies banded together to form the Atlantic Federation. Both powers depended on a precious mineral, Ragnite, for their prosperity. Its growing scarcity leading inevitably to war. With its overwhelming military might, the Empire captured one nation after another. While the Federation struggled to maintain unity, every battle driving them further back against the wall. Three months have passed. With seven-tenths of Europa falling to the Imperial War Machine, the Federation places all its hope in a desperate counterattack. Operation Northern Cross. Six million soldiers fought in this campaign. It claimed more lives than any other in the Second European War. Federation historians call it the Eastern Theater, but the Empire knows it as the War for the Motherland. Forward, soldiers! This is the battle you've been training for! Operation Northern Cross begins now! We'll wipe those Imperials clear off the face of Europa! Our time has come! Forward to victory! 
countless soldiers fought and died on those fields, struggling to make their ideals a reality. Ordinary people thrust into extraordinary circumstances, fighting in the hopes that they would see a brighter future. What follows here is a record of those brave warriors, a record of that battle against the dark. Based on the diary of one Claude Wallace, the commander of the Federation's Gallian Squad E. Now, why I find it interesting is that this is based off of a uh, this campaign that they're wanting to do. It's based off of uh, not one, but two failed campaigns in the past. One by Napoleon, one by Hitler, to uh, basically invade... Uh, Chapter 1, The Battle of Fort Crest. Uh, basically invade uh, Russia and try to capture Moscow. And uh, both times, that did not uh, work out well for, for them at all. But anyway, so let's get this started. We're going to get some rewards. HQ has awarded you with a medal. Yay! Medal. Cat bullets. Yep, 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 yep. Uh-huh. Okay. And we can't actually do anything with that yet. So let's go ahead and save before we get in here. All right, here we go. March the 10th, at long last, we finally entered Imperial territory. The ferocity of the Federation counterattack caught the Empire off guard. Battle by battle, town by town, we're pushing back the front with no signs of slowing down. The road to Schwarzgrad is a long one, running at least 1,500 kilometers from friendly territory into the heart of the Empire. But at the end of it lies our target, the capital city. We have a long trek ahead of us, but for now, morale is high. Everyone here believes in this operation. Everyone is praying it'll succeed. <laughs> I guess the Empire's not so tough after all, huh, Commander? Give them one good stomping, and all of a sudden they're running off home. Oh. That's right. So are you gonna take a picture of everything we pass? Uh, just let me have a look at it. Uh, hey, Raz, come on! <laughs> Stop it, really! You're wasting my film! Wasting? No chance. What you got here is a picture of a future hero. Uh, you take one too, eh, Kai? Yeah, maybe. Uh, uh, uh -huh. There you go. That's a keeper. Perfect! Uh, <laughs> damn it, Miles! <laughs> What the hell was that for? Freaking her, Quiet. man! I told him to stop the tank. Huh? Everything okay? <coughs> the wind shifted. Uh-oh. All right, uh, now for those that are interested in knowing when this game takes place exactly in the uh, timeline, uh, so you have uh, this game takes place right before and during uh, the first game. Right now we're right before where the first game takes place. Um, you'll find that out in just a second. Um, and for those that don't know, the first game dealt with a small country, which you should have seen on the map there, called Gallia, which is between the two uh, big giant empires, the, what, the Empire and the Federation. Um, that's its own game. I, I highly recommend it. Um, but anyway, so let's continue with the Battle of Fort Crest. They brought out the big guns. A blast that big could wipe out a whole squad. Easy. Let's keep moving.
A rendezvous point with Squad F should be nearby. Yep. Should be. <sighs> Flash. Thunder. Uh, that that is a uh, reference to um, something in World War II. I can't remember what the reference is exactly. That's the password. Next time, give us the response before you scare us shitless. Apologies. I didn't mean to frighten you. Follow me. Lieutenant Victor is waiting. Oh, great. We get to get chewed out by the redhead again. Who? Oh, you mean Minerva. And you are... Corporal Crystal Ward from Squad F. Ah. And you have a monocle. The hell, Walt. Indeed. I have the honor of answering to Minerva Victor, the strongest and smartest officer in the army. <laughs> Yeah, it's nice that we have a bootlicker on this force. Uh... <laughs> I assume you saw that explosion. Oh, well, we saw it, all right. They must be packing serious heat. A 21 centimeter howitzer. Currently, our worst nightmare. It must have a range of at least 10 kilometers. We can't advance with that thing around. <coughs> Just so. Our mission is to capture that cannon. Hey, Minerva, you just came in out of nowhere. Good work leading Squad E so far, Claude. Your slow pace, however, does leave something to be desired. I'm sorry, I'm driving a fucking tank here. It doesn't exactly move fast, you know. We saw cannon fire, so we've been proceeding with caution. Keep your excuses. As I said before, the success of Operation Northern Cross hinges on our swift advance. Time is of the essence. Yeah, all right, whatever, bitch. I know. You try hustling with a huge cannon up your ass. Oh, wait. You already tried and failed. <laughs> Down, boy. Claude, have you not housebroken your squad? Uh, well, you know, they like to piss in the yard. What the hell did you say? I'd appreciate it if you didn't insult my soldiers. They're people, not pets. Then I expect them to act like it. I'm not the one wagging my tongue. Soldiers who step out of line are often the first to die. Remember that, Sergeant Raz. Yeah, yeah. Hope you make it out alive too, Lieutenant. All right. <sighs> um, Commander? Uh, there's a good view from the clearing. Maybe we could brief them there. Claude, come with me. Fine, we'll go with you. Damn bitch. <laughs> All right. Allow me to explain your next mission. Go ahead. As you know, Fort Crest has a 21 centimeter howitzer that's blocking our advance. It might just look like an old castle turned into a makeshift fort. But they've stationed quite a few troops to defend the cannon. If we get too close, those turrets on the walls will mow us down. So when does our own cannon get here? That howitzer already destroyed it. We were outranged. That's not good. Blown up already? How long will the replacement take? Uh, you know, uh, however long it takes to get a howitzer up here, I don't the know. The bridge was destroyed too, so the artillery tractor can't proceed. It will take at least seven days. There you go, seven days. Though we do have plenty of infantry en route. Doesn't matter how many foot soldiers we get. Without a cannon, we're just waiting around. Not necessarily. Huh? We got a tank. <laughs> Time is of the essence. We don't have a week to wait. Oh wait, it's cannon. That's right, howitzer. That's stupid. Sorry. As ever. Like he says, we can't afford to wait. We'll have to capture the fort without artillery. <laughs> That's too reckless. Those turrets would fill us with more holes than golly and cheese. It's a dangerous mission, I know. Those are your orders. This isn't your local militia. This is what you signed up for when you joined the Edinburgh Army. <coughs> right. 
We enlisted to crush the Empire, not to commit suicide. Then allow me to clue you in on something. Crystal, tell them the news. You're all expendable. Yes, ma'am. This morning, the Empire invaded Galia. There's your timeline. Invaded? Yeah, all these people, um... Kai, Raz, and Claude, they're all from uh, Galia. I knew it was only a matter of time. What about our hometown? Is Hoffman okay? All we know is that the battle broke out near the border, at Citadel Girlandio. The Imperial Army, however, is being led by Prince Maximilian himself. Galia's prospects look grim. Oh, damn it! I'm interested to see if Maximilian is in this game because he's a prominent villain in the uh, the first game. Um, just curious what they're going to do, if he's going to be in this game at all. Is there nothing we can do? If Operation Northern Cross goes as planned, the Empire won't have the luxury of staying on the offensive. Our only option is to complete the mission as soon as possible. All right. We've got no choice then. If our home's in the Empire's sights, then we've got to protect it. Yeah, let's do it for Galia. All right, so let's get this party started. Here are your orders. Uh, we're here to seize the Fort Kaz Howitzer. Uh, let's see. Squad E will lay siege on the castle and capture the enemy camp. Uh, turrets are guarding the entrance. If you wander into the machine gun's range, they'll cut through you like carving a cake. Concentrate on gaining the foothold instead. The plaza out front will do. But first, you need to get into place. Position units on the battlefield to do so. Alright, so enemy occupies our base camp or all of our infantry falls or 20 rounds past such gay. Now, yep, I'm fixing to explain this. Alright, so, yes, I know. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Alright. Alright, so. Any character that's got a star beside them will give you an extra command point. So we're going to bring out, uh, we're going to bring Raz and Kai, no matter what, because they'll give us an extra command point. I've got that doesn't necessarily mean we're going to use them. Uh, yeah, we'll bring Gene, and we need a couple of. We'll need at least a. Uh, yeah, we'll use Curtis. Let's go. And let's see, Rebecca or you. Uh, we'll go ahead and use him. Right, here we go. All right. So, and when we get to where we're going, we'll go ahead and deploy some other now, people. Capture that cannon. All right. So, <clears throat> for anything, I'm going to. You ready? Take down the Imperial camp. Capture their heavy artillery. Squad E, move out. All right, first thing I'm going to do when this cutscene ends is I'm going to go ahead and save, and then we're going to uh, go capture the flag. Basically, that's what you do in here. Expected resistance, but they're tough nuts to crack. What should we do? We can't exactly rush in and kick the door down. We'll get routed if we don't have a plan. First, we need a solid foothold. Let's capture that camp. All right. After that, well, guess we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Weapons free. Squad E, move out. Okay. Pay attention, Claude. Your leadership skills are going to be put to the test. Yes, I know. That means getting the most out of your soldiers. Don't forget the basics. Okay. Yeah, good point. I'll keep that in mind. Redhead's really bugging me. 
I know. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> all right. So this is all. This is where we are. Need to go capture. We have to capture this one. I'm gonna go up here and get this one, and then we'll get this, and then we'll start making our way up here. Uh, so, first things first. Uh, before anything, oh, I can't save. Okay. Leave it to me. All right, Gene. Yes, Lancers. to talk about all that mushy stuff all right a couple of things here you can crawl in grass basically is what it's trying to tell you uh-huh it's nice yeah which is what we're fixing to do this, a, this the grass does two things first and foremost it gives you some cover and uh Second of all, um, are in for a surprise. well, it can hide you. <laughs> Those ruined walls should provide good cover. Not quite there yet. Almost. All units, all right, your right here. This work. Now, Lancers have terrible aim. I mean, awful. They're awful aiming. Kind of surprised I actually hit that. Nailed it. Target All right, so she's good. Go ahead and bring you in. Understood. <laughs> nice to feel dirt under my feet. Whatever you do, do it fast. <sighs> Sight lines, yes. Blue basically means they don't see you. Yellow is kind of a thing. Yada, yada, yada. Red means that you're fixing to get shot on. Attention all squad. If I can get a good shot here. Let's see. Eight shots to kill from the body. There. Got him. Done and done. Now, engineers, they have their own thing. I'll get to it in a minute. <clears throat> For now, we're going to... Uh, what are we going to do? Let's see. Yeah, we'll go ahead and bring the tank over. Why not? As you can see, the tank doesn't have a huge amount of movement, but they got a lot of uh, options as far as firepower goes. And I'm not going to be able to get a good shot. Damn it. Maybe? No. Alright, well, that sucks. And I can't hit him either. I just shoot. <laughs> I see. Right there. I'll rip you apart. And then we're gonna immediately use the tank again. Advancing. Commencing counter attack. Follow my lead. If I can get a good shot on him. See if I can get it. Ah, shit. Fuck it. I see. Fire! Screw it. We'll just use up all of our action points with the tank. I try not to do that, but you know, technically speaking, I guess I could have brought Gene over here and killed him. All right, but I got another thing I want to get done too, so because I want to provide some cover right here. 
See, the thing is, is the tank has a machine gun on it. That means that basically uh, anybody that's going to try to come around, I'll just automatically start shooting at. All right, let's start making our way over here. Keep your eyes open. Can I kill you? Let's see, get a good shot here. There. All right, good. So far, so good. I think I can make it over there. Yeah, we got it. Just I got this. I make it there. Yeah, one point left, so I could try to make it up there with him. Can I pull anybody else out? I can't. Okay. No sense in using our sniper. Eh, that's pretty close. Moving out. I know what we're gonna do. Hang on. Attention. Basically, it's just telling you about the grenades. Alright. But we're not gonna be using that right now. We're just gonna get close, and now I'm gonna heal up. And we'll heal, we'll uh, take the camp next round. All right. All right, so let's see what the enemy does. Enemy phase. Yeah, I've played a lot of Valkyria Chronicles, uh, both the first one and the second one. I played hell out of them uh, so I've kind of learned a lot of strategy <laughs> with them <laughs> yeah now this uh, this is something um, I don't know if this is true in this game yet if you're if you die if your enemy if you uh, if your character falls to the ground dead uh, basically, uh, you have, I think, two turns Understood. to get them up and running, or uh, they die completely. All right. So, throw a grenade. This should kill them. Yep, there we go. Target destroyed. Very good. Captured flag. We only have, I think, 10 units on the field. Alright, so... Go ahead and start making our way to over here. Wow, I light a cigarette. Sandbags and ladders. Ragnite. Yeah, that's a new thing. Uh, I mean, not the Ragnite, but the fact that they can uh, revive someone with Ragnite. That's new to me, anyway. Uh, it wasn't in the other games. <sighs> Morale boost. Yeah, this is also new. Uh, trigger morale boost, uh, has a higher chance of activating potent potentials, I'll explain that later, and dodging, uh, let's see, alright, so we're going to move the tank, because I have a Moving perfect out. idea of what to do with them. Unfortunately, running over somebody doesn't kill them, unfortunately. It's okay. I'm close enough. I can get from here. So... Let's 
That's a scout. He already used his grenade. Watch out. So, let's see if I can get a little closer. Yeah, right here. That's where we want. Right there! Alright. And now we're going to move him forward. We want to take out this guy. Watch our health as we go. Yeah, now that's the thing that can happen is if you come uh, close to an ally, basically, uh, I'll explain that too. Uh, basically, if you come up close to an ally, they can team up and uh, attack. Great move. Uh, defeated leaders. Uh, basically, whenever you kill a leader, they lose one of their uh, command points. It's always worth it. <laughs> Same thing happens with Let's us, though. Going. So. Like these soldiers after all. Nice to feel dirt under my feet. Alright. <laughs> They're too well fortified. Even with the camp, we can't advance like this. This is bad, Claude. If this keeps up, they'll mow us down. Come on, let's just go all out and charge him. Better than sitting here and dying, right? That's a terrible idea, dude. They got fucking Gatlin guns and shit. They'll mow you down. No, a frontal assault is way too dangerous. We have to stand back. Braz, you just don't think, do you, dude? Easy for you to say. Damn, if only we had artillery. There has to be some way through. Just hang on until I find it. All right, so we're gonna <coughs> as soon as uh, as soon as this stops, uh, we're gonna go ahead and end this episode. And when I start back up, we'll finish this mission. All right, so basically, this is where we're gonna stop. So anyway, I'm the Renegade Gamer, and uh, I'll catch you in the next episode. Till then, y'all take it easy, and I guess I'll see you in the next episode. I don't know how to end these things. <laughs> y'all take it easy. <laughs>